Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Let's learn how to draw a parallelogram, okay, using geometrical instruments. So the question here is draw a parallelogram PQRS so that angle SPQ is 110 degrees, the side PQ is 9 centimeters, and the side PS is 11 centimeters. Okay, now what do we know about a parallelogram? Well, a parallelogram is a quadrilateral, a four-sided figure that has got two pairs of lines that are parallel to each other. Now, if I were to draw a rough parallelogram over here, this is how it'll look like. Let's suppose this is the side PQ. Then we have this side over here, say PS. Okay, then the third side and this the fourth side. Okay, now this is PQR. S. Let's also put some color into it. Here we go. Okay, now the side PQ is equal to 9 centimeters. So let's write that down. This is 9 centimeters. PS is 11 centimeters. So this side is 11 centimeters. Now how about this side? Well, this side RQ or QR will also be equal to 11 centimeters because we know that opposite sides are equal these two are equal and not just that opposite sides are also parallel to each other so PS will be parallel to QR okay and same for here PQ and SR PQ is equal to SR so SR will also be equal to 9 centimeters actually double line because the single bar has been used here anyway so PQ is equal to SR and PQ is also parallel to SR so PQ and SR are parallel and PS and QR are also parallel to each other. Okay, so that's done. Now what else do we know? Well, we know that angle SPQ is equal to 110 degrees. So SPQ would mean the angle at P. Okay, so SPQ, this angle is equal to 110 degrees. All right, so with this information, can we draw our parallelogram now? Well, let's start. Okay, let's start with the side PQ and make a line that's 9 centimeters. Okay, so I use a ruler. I'm going to now draw a line that is 9 centimeters long. Okay, so 9 centimeter would be from 0 to 9. Okay, so that's my 9 centimeter line and this is PQ. Let's also write down 9 centimeters. Next, well, next we can draw this line over here, which is PS. And PS, we know, is at an angle of 110 degrees with PQ. So we take a protractor, place the protractor here, center it here at P, and then we read 110 degrees on this protractor. This is 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110. So this is 110 over here. I mark this point, remove the protractor, then join this point with P. So here is my line, which is at an angle of 110 degrees with PQ. Now, how do I mark this point S on this line? Well, S we know is at 11 centimeters from P. So I simply take a ruler, and measure 11 centimeters, okay? Now 11 centimeters is here, so I cut off this line here at 11 and this becomes my point S and this is 11 centimeters. All right, so we've drawn two of the sides, one PQ and the other one PS. Now how do we draw this side over here, QR? Well, there are two ways of drawing the side. One is to find out what angle it is at with PQ and we can find out what angle it is at because we know that PS and QR are parallel to each other. So this angle, this one over here, let's call it Q, plus this angle over here, which is P, the sum of these two angles is 180 degrees. So P, which is equal to 110, plus Q is equal to 180. 
180 degrees. So angle P plus angle Q is equal to 180 degrees. We know that angle P is 110. So from here we can find out what angle Q is equal to and angle Q will be equal to 70 degrees. So there are two ways of uh, drawing this line QR. One is to find out what angle Q is and we have found out that it's equal to 70 degrees. So we simply take a protractor, place it here at Q and we measure 70 degrees from P and we mark that point and draw a line and then we'll have a line QR that's parallel to PS. Or the second way is to use a set square, okay? And here's how we are going to use the set square. Since we haven't learned in any other lesson how to use the set square, I'm gonna show that to you here, okay? So we take this set square and using this set square, we'll draw a line starting at Q so that it's parallel to PS. Okay, and here's how you do it. You take the set square, you turn it, rotate it, okay, so that this one over here, this edge, this side of the set square aligns with the side PS. Okay, so let's do that. Let's turn it like this. So this side of the set square has now aligned with the side PS. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to take a ruler and align it with the other side, okay, this side of the set square. So we take the ruler and we turn it. Okay, now the ruler is aligned with the other side of the set square. Now all we do is we slide the set square to the right so that it touches the point Q on this line PQ, okay? I think I'm going to have to move the ruler a little bit down. Let me do that. Okay, now let me slide this set square. Okay, so I slide the set square like this and I can see the point Q now. Actually, see it's over here, okay? So I can see the point Q now. But all I do now is I draw a line along the edge of this set square. And remove the set square, remove the ruler. And here's your line from Q that's parallel to PS. Now we need to mark the point R, okay? Now point R we know is at 11 centimeters from Q. So we take a ruler and turn it. and simply mark 11 centimeters on it. Okay, from Q, here is your 11 centimeters. And this is your R. This is 11 centimeters. Now all you have to do is join the two points S and R. And here is your required parallelogram. Now just to make sure, do check that SR is equal to nine centimeters. So we take the ruler one more time, turn it one more time, Put it on S and see that SR is equal to 9 centimeters. So there you go. This is 9 centimeters. Just write that down here. This is 9 centimeters. And this is the parallelogram that we were asked to draw. Now, just to make sure that we've got everything right, let's measure this angle, angle Q. Okay, it should be equal to 70 degrees, right? So we take a protractor, center it at Q, and you see this angle is 70 degrees, right? So we've got it right. This angle, angle Q is 70 degrees. So we write that down. And just to make sure that everything is really correct, you must also check this angle. This angle should also be equal to 70 degrees because opposite angles in a parallelogram are equal. And same for here. This angle, angle R, should be equal to this angle, angle P, because these two are opposite, okay? So this should be equal to 110 degrees. So when you draw your parallelogram, do use a protractor to make sure to check that the opposite angles are equal. Well, I guess that's all I'm going to talk about in this lesson. I hope you now know how to draw a parallelogram, and I hope that you'll go and practice some as usual at www.homecampus.com.sg. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.